So today we're going to be looking at how we can make our own custom frames using any shape. Okay. So what I mean by custom frames is we can add our own pictures in like this. So it's pretty easy to do. So what we want to do is we want to open a, a design. You can make this however big you want. Create new design. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to make a tag that we can change and put any uh, pictures in. So we'll go across to elements. And to find the tag that I had, I just typed in tag and in graphics. Now you want to go to free for this one because Canva will only let you download the free ones on their own. So we'll just search until we find the tag that we want. Now I chose this one. So we're just going to turn it around. I mean, this can be any shape, but as long as it's a shape that allows you to change the, the color, because that's the type of file we need. I'm just going to change that to black. So there we go. So you just put it on your page there and you want to go across to share download and we want to choose SVG. I'm just going to tick transparent background there and then we're going to download that to our computer. I'm just going to call this tag and there we go. Okay now the next thing we want to do we want to open PowerPoint. We want to choose a blank presentation but we need this page to be blank so we'll just delete everything from the page. Okay, so now you've got a completely blank page here. Then we want to go up to insert. And we want to choose pictures. We want it from our computer, so choose this device. And then we want to upload the tag, well, the image that we've just downloaded in Canva. So click insert, and there he is. Now we want to go across to convert to shape and click on that okay and then we want to go up here to where it says shape fill and we want to choose picture and we want to choose that from a file on our computer and then we want what we want to do here is we just want to find any picture so i'll just choose one of these ones here and that's all we need to do on here so the next thing we want to do is we want to click on file and we want to go to save as and I'm just going to choose that to download so I know where it is and we want to save this as a PDF. It's important that you choose PDF and then you can change this to tag photo and then save. Okay. Now we want to go back to Canva and then we want to go to create a design and then upload and then we want to upload the PDF that we've just downloaded from PowerPoint. And that's important in your recent designs. So click on that and that opens it up here. And then all you need to do is you just click on and delete. And that'll bring up your custom shape frame that you can add any photo into. Like that. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do, just click that off. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to resize and magic switch. And I'm going to change this page size and I chose US letter okay so if you wanted to do multiple tags and 
you would just duplicate them. And however big you want them on your page. Like that. And then you could have a page of different designs there. As you can see, I'm making some nice little Christmas tags here. And they look good, don't they? Very cute. And you can make as many as you want. So you could just duplicate this page and just keep on adding more images that you want. Forgetting which ones I've already used. <laughs> there. It may look nice, don't they? And there we go. That's how we make our custom shape frames in Canva and PowerPoint.